What did the air conditioner say when it met a celebrity? I'm a big fan. Today, I'm going to recap a 2022 action fantasy film called Samaritan. A quick warning, there will be major spoilers ahead. 50 years ago, in a town, there were superhuman twin brothers, Samaritan and Nemesis. They were powerful and untouchable by weapons. One night, while they are sleeping with their parents, some people nearby lock their home and set it on fire. The parents get burned alive, but the twins escape. The older brother Samaritan pays the price for their mistake by giving his life to save the city. However, the younger brother Nemesis, driven by a desire for vengeance, slaughters everyone responsible for his parents' deaths. He wants to rule a whole world, but Samaritan seeks to keep his brother Nemesis under control. Nemesis forges a mighty hammer. It is the only item that can kill Samaritan and Nemesis. One day, Nemesis sets off an explosion in a power plant and attacks many innocent people to catch Samaritan in his trap. Samaritan arrives to help the people. The twin brothers get into a fight. The power plant explodes in a massive explosion and kills both of them. Now in the present, a 13-year-old boy named Sam lives in a small apartment with his mother Tiffany. Tiffany is making low pay. She instructs him to remove the trash and hence to work. Sam is a big Samaritan fan. He paints numerous portraits of Samaritan and believes he is still alive. When he steps outdoors, he notices that it is raining. In the trash can, he discovers a nemesis symbol. Sam uses spray paint to cover Nemesis' symbol with the Samaritan symbol. Joe Smith, an elderly neighbor of the next apartment, appears out of nowhere and promptly dumps his trash in the trash can. Sam hides behind the trash can. Joe removes the waste, grabs a mini fan from the bin, and returns home. Joe is a single man who lives alone in his apartment. He works in the garbage cleanup division. Additionally, he fixes the thrown devices he finds in the trash and sells them at the pawn store. The next day, Sam returns home from school. The house owner locks his apartment because his mother didn't pay rent. Sam is worried and heads to the park. Joe is on his way home from work, carrying an old radio. Sam approaches him and inquires about the radio's performance. Joe says dead as a doornail. Sam asks why he has a broken radio. Joe notices his wristwatch, inquires about why he has a broken watch, and leaves. Then Sam's friend Chase arrives and invites Sam to join him if he wants to earn some money. Sam joins him at an old house to steal several copper coils and sell them for $40. A gangster named Cyrus and his girlfriend Syl arrive at this time. Cyrus admires Nemesis and has a gang of thieves and robbers under his control. Reza, one of the criminals, asks Jace to assist him in robbing a store near the coast. Jace refuses to agree. Sam agrees to go along with them. Reza requests that Sam distract the store owner. Sam splashes ketchup on his forehead and pretends to be injured. Riza and his friend steal some boxes and run while the owner is distracted by Sam. They go to the scripyard and open the boxes. Big shock, only chips in that box. They've stolen the wrong box. Riza blames Sam for taking the wrong box to escape Cyrus. Sam claims that he followed their instructions precisely. Riza becomes enraged and throws Sam to the ground. Cyrus has arrived and asks Sam his age. He says 13. Cyrus admires him, gives him $200, and punishes Riza. Syl tells Sam that Cyrus likes him. Sam goes to his apartment. Tiffany asks the owner to let her move in, claiming she will pay the rent in five days. Sam gives the money to his mother to pay the rent. Then the owner unlocks the door. Tiffany asks questions about how Sam got the money. Sam lies. The next day, Sam is on his way to school. Riza and his friend see him and chase him. Sam runs as quickly as he can, but Riza eventually catches up with him. Riza starts beating Sam. Joe arrives and throws Riza's friends away. Riza hits Joe in the stomach, but he is hurt. Joe didn't care about him and expelled all of his friends. Riza stabs him with a knife, but Joe crushes it with his bare hands. Riza runs away. Joe leaves the building without saying anything. Sam believes he is Samaritan after seeing his fighting. After returning to his apartment, Sam uses his binoculars to observe Joe's apartment. He notices the burn mark on his back and realizes he is Samaritan. 
Sill, Cyrus, and the rest of his group wear police uniforms and go to the police evidence locker. The guard requests identification. Cyrus kills him with a grenade, and his group unlocks the safe vault. Cyrus discovers the helmets of Nemesis and Samaritan, as well as Nemesis's hammer. He uses the hammer to destroy the door, and feels the power of the hammer. Sam follows Joe and watches everything he does. Joe requests him to stop his chase. Sam enters Joe's home via a window and discovers a file filled with Samaritan's newspaper clippings. Sam brings the book to his home. When Joe comes home and finds the book is missing, he knows Sam did this, so he goes to Sam's home and informs Tiffany. Tiffany requests that Sam return the book. Sam returns it and expresses his fanboy moment. Her mother apologized for this. The next day, Sam encounters Joe and asks questions about whether he is Samaritan. Joe declares he is only a good fan and steps into the road. Riza and his friend suddenly drove up and hit Joe with their car. Joe's bones broke and he collapsed to the ground. He seems to be dead. Sam goes near him and he cries. Instantaneously as Joe opens his eyes, his body heals and he wakes. Sam says that he is already aware that he is Samaritan. Joe is weak and claims he needs water. Joe returned home and had a freezing shower before eating ice cream. Sam wonders why he is eating ice cream at the moment. Joe claims that when he is hurt, his body pumps blood and overheats, and if not cooled, his heart would burst. Sam asks questions if this is the cause of Nemesis' death. Joe requests that he stop talking to Nemesis. Cyrus and his crew use the hammer to create destruction around the city. He told himself the new nemesis and rallied several impoverished citizens to support him. The next day, Sam sees Joe and asks about his daily routine. Joe said he used to be stronger, but that age has weakened him. Joe asks Sam's damaged watch and promises to repair it. Sam thanked him and left. Meanwhile, Cyrus and his gang commit several crimes around the city by the name of Nemesis. The media covered it all. Joe becomes angry after hearing the name Nemesis many times. Sam requests that Joe teach him how to fight. Joe agrees. Sam tries it on him and is injured. Joe puts some ice on his hand. Sam asks questions about Nemesis once again. Joe becomes angry and tells him to leave his home. On the way, Cyrus picks up Sam. Sam joins him and witnesses him murdering an officer. Sam becomes terrified and leaves. While running, he notices Reza beating Jace. Sam hits Riza and allows Jace to escape. After that, Riza smashes Sam's wrist and abandons him near his apartment. Joe and Riza both recognized each other. Joe took Sam to the hospital. Riza informs his friend that the older man they hit with their car is still alive. Cyrus notices the damaged car and orders that his team bring him. They chase Joe down a path and start fighting with him. Joe beats them all up and tosses them in the air. They fired at him, but he was unharmed. Joe defeats them all. When a small girl notices this, she asks Joe how he did it. Everyone gathers around Joe and begins filming him. Suddenly, a man throws a grenade near Joe. Joe grabs the girl, jumps from there, and flips a car as a shield to avoid the explosion. Joe protects the girl despite the grenade explosion. All media outlets are presenting this footage as proof that Samaritan has returned. Joe decides to leave town. When Cyrus watches the video, he goes to Joe's home with his gang to catch him. Joe had already left the spot. Cyrus has destroyed the room and sees Sam through Joe's window. Reza said that Joe and Sam were close. Cyrus requests that they grab Sam. Sam attempts to flee with his mother, but Cyrus captures them. Meanwhile, Joe awaits the train. He notices Sam's watch and returns to Sam's house to give the watch. Tiffany is in the kitchen crying. She says that Cyrus took Sam. Joe becomes enraged, packs many oil barrels onto a truck, and drives to Cyrus' place. Cyrus intends to destroy the power plant, causing the whole city to become dark and all his gang members to steal simultaneously. Joe arrives there. The guards attempt to stop the truck. Joe runs over them all and crashes the truck into the building. Sam notices this and informs Cyrus that he will fail like Nemesis. All of the thugs in there start shooting at Joe from all sides. Joe easily defeats most of them. Cyrus appears and declares that he will finish what Nemesis began. 
Joe requests that Cyrus release Sam. Cyrus refuses and hits Joe with the hammer. Joe trips and falls. Cyrus continues to beat him. Joe attempts to awaken. Cyrus says good folks always fall, and tries to hit Joe again with the hammer. Joe blocks the hammer and says he's not the good guy. He is the bad guy here, Cyrus and Sam are taken aback. He is not Samaritan, he is Nemesis. Actually, Samaritan died in the crash. Nemesis survived the explosion and was living as Joe. Joe claims that he is the villain and grabs the hammer. Suddenly, the oil drums in the vehicle exploded, killing several criminals, including Sill. Joe slaughters them one by one without mercy. At any one moment, a large number of them surround him. Joe causes the ceiling to collapse by breaking the pillars around him. They are all crushed, but Joe survives and runs towards Cyrus. Cyrus handcuffs Sam into a broken pipe and orders his gangsters in the city to wipe the city dark. The whole town becomes dark, and the gangsters begin to murder people, burn down buildings, and rob banks. Cyrus roars like a beast when wearing Nemesis' mask. The whole building is on fire. Sam is yelling for help. He notices Sam and rushes to free him. Cyrus comes from behind and takes the hammer. He starts fighting him. Due to the extreme heat, Joe's heart suddenly starts to beat fast. Cyrus beats him and attempts to make him fall from the burning building. Sam tries hard breaking the pipe and hitting Cyrus from behind. Joe comes up and takes the hammer and wraps it around Cyrus. Cyrus is unable to move. Joe lifts Cyrus over his head and tosses him off the building, recalling how he let Samaritan die in the same way 50 years ago. Suddenly Joe's heart began to beat fast, and he fell. Sam opens a nearby pipe and lets the cool water hit Joe. The building starts to crumble. Joe grabs Sam's hand and begins to run. He crashes through the wall and jumps from the building to a nearby building to rescue Sam. Sam wonders whether he is Nemesis. Joe says yes. Sam claims he can fix things and still be a nice man. Sam heads outside and any reporters gather and ask about what had occurred. Sam says Samaritan rescued him and that Samaritan still exist. Joe smiles at Sam in the crowd and begins to walk under a bridge. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. You should watch the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more video like this.